Welcome to Monoprice. My name is Dimitri, and today I'll be showing you how to create a lithophane using your Monoprice 3D printer. A lithophane is an etched or molded artwork created on a thin translucent medium that can be seen clearly when lit from behind. Lithophanes make a great gift to loved ones as a way to capture a moment that can always be remembered. This process works best with white filament or any filament that has low pigment. The print will not be able to be seen through filaments with darker colors. There are a couple of different ways to create a lithophane, and today I'm going to be showing you two methods. One using the Cura software, another using an application called, you guessed it, lithophane. To start with Cura, we're going to open up the Cura software, and for this example, we're going to be using version 3.2.1. First thing you will need is an image you would like to create. For the best results, the image should be high in contrast and have a uniform background. An image that is too high in detail may not turn out as good as it should, so we suggest to keep it simple. Once selected, you will simply drag and drop the image into the Cura software, and a window will appear that reads Convert Image. In this window, you will be able to control the light and dark depth, height, base, width, and rather the light or dark is higher in the print. We suggest keeping darker as higher so it looks correct when lit from behind. For height, the higher you make this setting, the greater the variations from light to dark will be. A higher setting will also add depth to the image, but you don't want to go too high as this will create a dark finished product. The base will be the initial layer that the image is printed on, and it is recommended to keep the base the same size as the machine's layer height. This makes the first layer thin enough to let light pass through. This number can be found in the Kira software under the quality setting on the right hand side of the software. The width will adjust the overall size of the picture and is locked to the length so the image will not distort. These settings may need to be adjusted in order to complete a quality lithophane. We have found that this process works best with black and white images or negative variations of images. Once the model has been generated in the software, now you can slice the file to a G-code and print using the method of choice. Another approach is using software called Lithophane. This is not a Monoprice owned program. You can also find a number of web-based applications that work great and follow similar steps as this program. The Lithophane software was originally created in Portuguese, so the language of the software will need to be changed to English. We find Lithophane better to create high quality portraits as opposed to Kira because it allows you not only to change the color settings, but to also adjust for layer height and base. It also allows you to convert an image to a negative before generating the STL file. To begin, select an image that you would like to print out. Open the image in Lithophane and you will find options for contrast, brightness, gamma, and as well as a function to convert the image to a negative. Doing this will help by adding in detail that would not normally be seen in its original format. Now go to the next tab on the top left of the software that reads 3D STL. In this tab, you will now be able to change the width, height, Z depth, height thickness, and edge if needed. Once you are happy with the settings, click the Generate 3D button on the left panel, and your image will appear. This can now be saved as an STL file and sliced in the Cura software to be printed. Congratulations, you've now created your first lithophane and are ready to print. We hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Dimitri with Monoprice. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out monoprice.com for 3D printing products and support.